Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today I would like to talk to you about a very easy way that you can clarify your priorities in life. And this is to face the idea and concept of death. What is it that you want to have accomplished by the time you die? And work backwards from this moment. You might not reach um, death at a particular age. You could die sooner, you could die later, you could die in unexpected ways. It's all very unpredictable, correct? But what will enable us to live with more clarity is if we are able to prioritize. And the simple, most basic way we can do this is by looking at the end and working backwards. What is it that you want to have accomplished? What is it that you want to feel like? What, what do you want to feel like? What kind of relationships do you want to have? How do you want your um, philosophical outlook, you think, to be? Especially if it's something like, I want to feel peaceful or I want to feel at rest or at ease with how I've lived my life. Well, you got to wind back from that because if you're not doing stuff that's gonna lead to it, as many of you probably aren't, you're not gonna feel really good on your deathbed, are you? So this is a message out there that <clears throat> this might help you uh, think about with more clarity how you can prioritize. We're often assaulted with all these ways that we can be clear, um, things that we have to do. We have to meditate. We have to um, exercise this many hours. We have to read this kind of book. We have to have this kind of relationship. And this is true. But know this, you came into this world alone and you will leave this world alone. In the end, it's not all that stuff that you're doing. In the end, it comes down to what you want to be thinking about death and yourself. And you need to face this and then wind back for clarity, okay? That's my advice for today. And if you would uh, like to hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel, that would be awesome. Or sign up for my Substack newsletter, which will be coming out with health, wellness, literature, writing, and reading tips. And I look forward to seeing you in class or online. Cheers. Bye-bye.